Um, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'm, I didn't expect to be here myself. Um, I'm, I'm not a public speaker. Um, I'm not. I'm not anybody that you know. Anybody should pay any attention to. But I have a story to tell, and um, I just want to let you know what happened to me. So, I um, I uh, for for one thing, you know, there's a lot of people that know me here. There's a lot of people that don't. But the, the people that know me, um, well, they're not they're not as fortunate as the people that. They don't know me, you know what I mean? But um, I, I'm on. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Well, well, first of all, you know, in, in um, 2011, I was. Uh, I was uh, mistaken identity, whatever. But uh, it tur turns out that uh, I spent the last four, four and a half years uh, um, fighting for my life in a, in a trial. And um, it hasn't taken place. But um, I knew that uh, uh, somewhere uh, that that this, this wasn't it, you know. And um, come October, you know, I was diagnosed with the, uh, uh, with, with, uh, in the later stages of cancer and um, and uh, pretty basically, you know, it was the end of the road, you know what I mean? But uh, um, I promised God, I said, you know what? If I, you know, I gave up a lot of things and uh, um, a lot of things that people uh, take for granted, but um, in, in prison, it's, it's a, so there's a whole different dynamic there. So, uh, uh, what I did was I gave up a lot of things, and uh, I uh, I had faith that one day I'll see the streets again, and um, and nothing was happening, but uh, but that didn't deter me from keeping my end of the promises that I that that, that I made, and um, and it uh, didn't it didn't seem like it was going to work out, you know. It didn't seem like anything was really especially going to happen, you know, all of a sudden in my favor. But uh, when they started to happen, it, started, it was amazing to me because uh, they started to happen, you know, in succession and uh, and things that uh, you would have never uh, been able to predict. You know, as Orlando says that, uh, you know, that I was um, uh, stage four cancer, my, my um, bail uh, I was not given a bail, and um, they were not ready to uh, let me out on bail uh, without the most. Res well, first of all, not at all. But uh, um, uh, as Rondo was saying, the next week I, I went back to court, and um, I, I I had no idea why I was what I was going to court for, you know. And then all of a sudden, the judge comes out and says, you know, I'm ready to. Uh, rule on this bail hearing, you know, in the defendant's favor, and um, give me bail, all of a sudden. See, at first, uh, uh, if you know, uh, the first time I have to tell you that uh, he said that he was real concerned about my health, but he was concerned about public safety. Uh, that was preeminent to him. And so uh, um, I, I could understand uh, his mentality, you know, but I you know, I'm a dying man, and I wasn't trying to hurt nobody. And um, uh, so, uh, I, you know, I took it for what it was worth, and, you know, I just went on. But never at once did I compromise, you know, the promises that I made. And uh, and one of them was to be right here. And, and, uh, A lot of things that, uh, uh, that, like I say, you know, are are worthless, you know, to a person on the street, um, uh, but but are worth worth heaps and bounds, you know, when you're when you're locked up. I uh, I promised them away also, and nothing happened except I got bail. Now all of a sudden, the things uh, that I needed to make bail, I mean, for some. So I, I, I can only attribute it to a miracle of God because uh, 
there's no way for all these to be coincidences and for them to happen at one time at the exact time they needed to happen. Right? And um, am I, uh, yeah, yeah, give my hand. Uh, uh, the thing was, is that, is that uh, I, uh, I never compromised, uh, uh, you know, none of the things that I promised him, you know, and uh, uh, I promised him a whole heap of things. And um, I promised that, you know, if I ever see the street again, I'm going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let God uh, have all the glory. And I, anybody that knows me, I've been here, uh, I mean, numerous times. I mean, countless times. Uh, I was here to tell a story about when Pastor beat me up. Um, uh, you remember? Uh, there you go. Somebody waiting outside for you. Anyways, uh, um, Belinda. Hi, baby. How are you? Huh? I miss you. Thank you for everything. Anyways, uh, uh, so uh, um, I um, I said, you know what, God, if 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 ever it comes to pass, you know that I'm out there. Um, I'm gonna tell this story because there's nowhere else. Um, there's no way else I can explain it, you know, uh, other than a miracle. And, um, or a series of them, you know, in succession. And if you don't believe it, those things, then look at me. Because um, right now I'm supposed to be bedridden. And I'm supposed to be uh, pretty basically in my deathbed in excruciating pain. However, I have not touched a pain medication from... from from the time I've been diagnosed up until this point. And uh, um, those things, uh, you know, along with the legal things, the medical things, the problems that I have, uh, other than uh, I was born ugly, um, I, 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 um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good as far as, uh, as, far as everything else goes, you know. And, you know, I used to be a... a I, uh, women used to be my downfall um, because I, you, you, you women are so fickle that I, I never made the right decision with women, you know. But I even did that right this time, you know. Got a good woman right there. And, uh, and uh, God gave me that. And, um. Uh, and I, I, I feel like, you know, the, those were all the payments for me being uh, uh, loyal and steadfast and uh, uncompromising. And uh, I, I began to uh, uh, see things in a whole different way. I know that um, it's not my selfish time that we're talking about. You know, it's in his time when he's ready, he'll do it. And... Um, had I tried to do this, uh, um, I couldn't have choreographed it any better with all the king's men and uh, all that. It would have never happened the way it has happened. I mean, every little piece of the puzzle had to fall in place at exactly the right time. And they did. You know what I mean? Timmy, how you doing, Tim? Uh, good to see you, man. Yeah, I hope to see you again. <laughs> yeah, but uh, um, I'll be here, you know, I'll be here uh, uh, as regular as it, it got me to when the judge, I mean, I mean, you know, the judge, they they don't really care about uh, trivial matters, you know what I mean? They care about legal matters. And, and he just threw in there that, um, and you can go to church once a week, you know? <laughs> So where did that come from? Okay, and, and, and no, nobody told him to say that or nothing. That just came out of his mouth. I, I'm thinking God done that too. You know, you know. I mean, at least that's what I'm believing. You know, and uh, he done everything else. Say hey, what else can you know? If he did the difficult, I'm sure he could do the trivial. You know? So, uh, um, um, 
I had God busy for a minute, you know what I mean? And uh, Lord knows, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm a sinner. Anybody that knows me, you know what I mean? I, I have I'm not a public speaker, and uh, I have no place preaching any kind of word on any uh, piece of God's property. I'm a sinner, uh, straight like that, you know? And um, But here I am. Here I am. I would have never thought that. <laughs> but that was part of the promise I made. You know, I could be a dirty, welching, you know, whatever I am. But um, I um, I'm not I'm not gonna play with God. You know, I made him a promise, and I intend to keep it. You know, he was true to his. And um, so um. You know, my story is not, you know, uh, one that keeps a person enthralled or nothing like that, you know. But uh, I do my best to try to uh, emphasize it. It's the glory of God that has uh, um, made me uh, available to speak to you today, you know. And uh, and I thank him for it, you know. Um, I thank pa Pastor for the time that he's given me to give. The, uh, my praise and glory to God, and uh, for the time that uh, uh, God has given me to uh, be able to speak to all of you, and um, uh, Didi, tell him, Didi, I don't belong here. <laughs> I don't belong here. <laughs> right, Coach. <laughs> Smuckle monitor right there too. Um. Anyways, uh. I'm going to try to cut it short because if I don't, pastors are already going like this. You know what I mean? He showed me a sword in the office, you know what I mean? And, and he said, if you don't cut it short, I'm going to cut your tongue. So basically like that. You know what I mean? And so I'm going to let you guys go. You know what I mean? I needed to tell this story. I hope to be able to tell it to uh, um, whoever wants to listen. And... Um, God is real, and, I, and when um, what I have found out that uh, is that two things um, that God will do things in His own time. It's, it's not a, a rush, you know. What I mean, uh, I'm, I, I don't think He would have gave me bail, thought that I was going to die. So um, I, I, I was my deathbed was delivered to me yesterday, and. Uh, uh, they said, you know, what well, you can use them until you're gone, and you have to turn it in. I said, well, I'm going to put some use to this bed then. You know what I mean? I'm going to stay around as long as possible. And um, so you guys are pretty much stuck with me. Um, anyways, uh, I love you all. You know what I mean? My story's real. And the other thing was is that when you pray to God with your heart, he tends to give it a little bit more uh, priority. You know what I mean, you know, if you're not praying to be selfish or nothing like that, and you're a little bit, uh, you're not afraid to uh, compromise the things that really matter to you, which I did, and I, I and I, I, uh, even when things didn't look good, um, I still, I still uh, was not compromising, and uh, it worked. It worked, and when 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 it worked, like I say, uh, it worked like if it was just one great big puzzle falling together by itself, just throwing the pieces up and landing in place. That's the way it worked. And I wouldn't be here to tell you that if it wasn't so. So uh, uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Uh, pastor's already he's already giving me dirty looks and all that. You know? You know when his mustache starts fuming like that? <laughs> yeah, that's doing that. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you all for believing for me when I was in doubt. And um, that's my story. I'm here to tell it. And I love you guys. And, you know, uh, what can I say? You know, just uh, just have faith. And I always give God, God the glory, you know, when uh, when things don't look good, you know, it's him. It's him that's important, not you. All right? You guys sit good.
Trink. <lacht>